Hello, welcome to Golf Lessons with the Old Man. This is lesson four today, and we're gonna talk about the downswing, hitting through the impact zone, what makes the ball fly like it's supposed to. If you'll recall in the first lesson, we talked about the grip, the importance of gripping a club in your fingers. We talked about stance, how to distribute your weight, how to position your feet. We talked about taking the club away in lesson three with a straight left arm restricting your left side so you create as much stretching as you can across your chest, your stomach, and your abdomen. And I think I mentioned at that time that the more you can restrict your left side and the more you can push this club back wide, achieving this 90 degree wrist load right here, the more stretching that goes on there, the more power you have to bring back down into the ball. So, lesson four is simply address the ball comfortably, remembering everything in golf is natural, comfortable, and relaxed. You take the club back, as we talked about in lesson three, you position the 45 degree angle, your head is still right over the ball, you've restricted your left side, and you load your wrist to 90 degrees. Now from this point on, we're not going to go through a full and awkward and overstretched backswing. We're just going to do this with a little half swing, demonstrating how to bring the club back down into the ball, making pure contact, head over the ball, and behind it at impact. So, as we bring the club back down in, we've restricted the left side, we've created all the stretching we can, we bring the club down into the ball, preserving this 90 degree angle as long as we can and then right at the bottom this area is called the hitting zone right here at the bottom the club is going to release this wrist load is going to unload and it will create additional club head speed if you have a 100 mile an hour golf swing you're probably only about 60 miles right here but your golf swing increases exponentially as your wrists unload and you release the angle through impact. It's very simple. Strike down, strike the ball. Once it's on its way, your head's still behind the ball here. You chase the club head down the line as far as you can. Johnny Miller calls that the chase move. I don't care what you call it. You want the club after impact to stay down close to the ground where the ball was and chase it down until you have a full extension of your right side. And that low arc that we've created creates a tremendous amount of backspin and lift and drive through the air. And it's all because A, you held still over the ball and B, as you brought the club in, you maintain the same posture and you got a full extension through after you held this angle as long as you possibly could. And in the next lesson, we're gonna talk a little bit more theory about the arc of your golf swing. Every golf swing has an arc, a wide arc, and every golf swing has a plane. So if you'll come back and join me for lessons five and six, We'll talk about arc and plane. And I hope this has been informative. And if it has, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the, subs <laughs> hit the subscribe button. It's been a long day and I will send you the next lesson. Thanks for watching.